Hey guys, we just passed November 27th through December 1st of 2023, and we are going to look at the stocks that were moving up from their annual low price. I should say the fundamentally sound stocks moving up from their annual low price um, that were positive for this week. But first, we want to start with, there's a lot of stocks that have been moving down as of recent. So our watch list was pretty big. Now many stocks have started moving up. And once they've moved up, a bit. I like to remove them from the watch list. I just want us to get the stocks that are fundamentally sound and moving up from their low. So we are, these stocks have already moved up. So I want to remove them. We're removing Waters Corporation, Dollar General, Hibbit Inc., Target Corporation, CalMain, Kraft Heinz, English Markets. Norfolk Southern, Agilent Technologies, Citigroup, Enterprise Financial, American Waterworks, T. Rowe Price, Prosperity Bank Shares, Market Access, Cullen Frost, Cullen Frost Bankers, Keogen NV, Camden National Corporation, Discover Financial Service, Kellanova Quest Diagnostics, Ida Corp. Thermo Fisher Scientific, PNC, and Goldman Sachs. Having said that, we still have some considerable socks, stocks to go through this week. So, as you know, I like to start off to see how the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ were moving because those represent the entire market. And we see that the S&P 500 is moving up for its fifth week. Now, I was wondering if it was going to continue to move up this past week. It did, although you see it's a much smaller candle. We had a big candle here. Big candle here, but the last two weeks those candles have tightened up. Not sure if the S and P 500 may start to move back down this week. The, when we look at the Dow, it's also up for the fifth straight week. But we see a decent sized candle that it moved up this last week. And lastly, we have the NASDAQ. It was in positive territory this week. Can't really say it moved up much. The prior four weeks it moved up. And on the fourth week it moved up the least. But last week almost looks like a doji. It really didn't move up much at all. So we have to beware for this next week and see what's going to happen with the markets. Are they going to continue to stay positive or are they going to start to move down for a few weeks? In any event, let's start with our watch list. And we start with Genpak Limited. It's a three star now. For those who follow this watch list, you're already aware that um, I grade our watch list in three tiers of stock stocks. There are those which are three stars, which are the most fundamentally sound. Those which are two stars which are a little below the most fundamentally sound, and those which are one star, which are still fundamentally sound, but 
they're below three stars and below two stars. There may be problems with the balance sheet, some other issues. If it's banks, it's usually going to boil down to the balance sheet. In any event, Genpak Limited is a three star. It's currently at $34.76 a share. Yahoo Analysts estimate it's going to go up to $37.87 a share. Not much, but the analysts can be wrong, but that's their projection. This stock is near to giving a dividend, not a big one, but they're near to giving a dividend. You have to own it before December 7th to be eligible for that dividend. And the dividend will be 13 cents a share. After that, we have Atrion Corporation. Now, Atrion Corporation is a, another three star company. Yahoo actually did not have an estimate for what they feel this stock can move up to in the next 12 months. But based on P.E. ratio, I provided my own estimate, which is that the stock is currently at $316.15 a share. And based on my estimation from P.E.s, I feel it can move up to $381.12 a share. Crystal Myers Squibb Pharmaceutical. They're a two star. Currently at $50.10 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $63.23 a share. Valmont Industries, they're a two-star, currently at $223.71 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $254.80 a share in the next 12 months. They are actually going to give a dividend and you have to own this stock before December 28th to be eligible for that dividend, which would be 60 cents a share. Sentient Technologies, bit of an interesting company. They sell colors and flavors to businesses. They'll create colors. Maybe you have a makeup line, they create colors for them. Maybe you sell candies, they create flavors for them. Well, Sensian Technologies is a three star. They're currently at $59.72 a share. And Yahoo analysts believe that they can move up to 72 in the next 12 months. Key site technologies. Now, key site technologies is $137.88. They've already moved up. I'd say four of the last five weeks. They are one of the companies that I could have purged from this list, 
But although they're already at $137.88 a share, Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $162.20 a share. So I leave them here. Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll is a one star. Remember what we said about the one star. They're still considered fundamentally sound, but they're the least fundamentally sound among our three tiers. Tootsie Roll, um, um, I sort of grew up having Tootsie Roll candies if maybe some of you had the same experience. In any event, Tootsie Roll, they sell candies. And Yahoo didn't have an estimate on them, but based on PE, I feel that they can move up from the current price of $33.73 to $45.78 in the next 12 months. L3 Harris. They are a one star and they're currently at $194.69. They also have moved up four of the last five weeks. They've moved up a little from their low. Another company that I would have been willing to remove because of where they've moved up to already, but Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $222 or $221.86 in the next 12 months. So they still have a little room to breathe. Northrop Grumman and Northrop Grumman, they, well, we can sort of say they, they're not military, but they provide things for the military and so forth. They're currently at $479.84 a share. They can move, Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $508.32. And they are a two-star. We have Paycom, a three-star. Famously dropped around $90 in one day because of an earnings report that had something which was viewed as negative. Um, the details are in my channel. I have a couple of videos in the channel. One is what happened to Paycom today, which explains why they dropped that day. And the other one is the analysis on the company. In any event, they are a three-star, fundamentally sound company, and since that week where they dropped, or that day where they dropped, I should say, they've been moving up, not much, but moving up steadily for the following four weeks. RCI Hospitality Holdings. And what do they hold? Well, Strip clubs, I'm not sure if they're all over or in the Miami area, but RCI Hospitality Holdings has sports bars, I believe, and strip clubs. They have been moving up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, of the last seven weeks, Six of them have been positive, and 
it wasn't much, but this last week it was the most. Well, actually, the most would be between this last week and one, two, three, four weeks ago. They're currently at $60.56 a share, and Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $119.50 a share. Exponent, Exponent Inc., they're another three-star, currently at $79.13 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $100.50 a share. They will be giving out a dividend, but to be eligible for that dividend, you have to own them before December 7th. And the dividend will be 26 cents a share. UPS, United Parcel Service. They're a two star. $154.91 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they will or can move up to $163.67 in the next 12 months. And they are sort of the leader in their industry. Zebra Technologies. Zebra Technologies is a three-star. Currently at $241.22 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $265.67 a share. Of the last six weeks, five of them have been positive. Biogen. Biogen is another three star. They're currently at $234.64 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $323.00. And 48 cents a share. That's a big jump. And they've been positive only slightly, but for the last three weeks. Medtronics. Medtronics is another three star. They're currently at $79.99 a share. Yahoo analysts believe that they can move up to $90.15 in the next 12 months. They have been positive for four of the last five weeks. We have General Motors. General Motors is a no star. It's, I guess you could say, maybe it's a bit of an emotional addition to this list. But having said that, their fundamentals isn't horrible just wasn't good enough to make it in any of our tiers. And General Motors is one of the automobile companies that had their workers on strike. So now the strike is over. We've seen them move up 
pretty decently this last week. And I'm wondering if it is a reaction to that strike being over. They're currently at $32.36 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $46.41 a share. PepsiCo. They make Pepsi and other drinks and beverages and um, snacks. They're currently at $168.69 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $189.08 a share. They are a one star. Now, this last week was a negative week for them. They have moved up three of the last five weeks. But this last week was a slightly negative week for them. We want to see what they do moving forward, as with all of these companies. Middleby Corporation. They manufacture, but they manufacture things for the kitchens of big restaurants and so forth. They're currently at $130.42 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $153.75 a share. Value Line Incorporated. Value Line. Yahoo doesn't provide an estimate on what they feel this can move up to, but I'll provide mine based on PE. They are a three star, currently at $44.40 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $52.21 a share. Now, this company has a large insider ownership, meaning many of their stocks are not owned by outside people. They're owned by people in the company, which means those people have confidence in them. Value line publishes information regarding stocks. And I've been reading their material for a while. It's pretty solid. And I could see what a, what need they have in the market. I actually, there should be a video on Value Line stock analysis in the channel if you guys want to view it but in any regard in any event according to my estimation they can move up to 52 dollars and 21 cents a share ulta beauty ulta beauty many are probably familiar with but ulta beauty makes makeup I don't wear makeup, but I love Ulta Beauty. They've made money for me again and again. They're currently at $472.03 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $512.74 a share. And they are a three-star, top-rated. AMN Healthcare, a two star, moved up the last three weeks. Currently at $69.21 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $79.67. Aqua 
Idex Corporation, another three star, currently at $203.04 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $220.42 a share. Commercial Metals Company. They are a one star. They're currently at $46.38 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $56.40 a share. They moved up a little. They're currently in a sideways pattern. We want to see if they break out of that. Dover Corporation. They're a three star. Currently at $143.21 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $156.38 a share. Norman Products, they're a two-star, currently at $73.79 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $82 a share. Texas Instruments, they're a three-star, currently at a hundred and fifty five dollars and twenty one cents a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to a hundred and sixty three dollars and five cents a share. Credit Corp. They are a one star. Currently at one hundred and twenty eight dollars and thirty five cents a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $160.46 a share. So guys, that's um that's our this week's stock winners for what just happened this week that just passed. We want to look at these stocks and see what starts to happen in the next coming week and that may provide opportunities for us to jump into some of these um i will you will see a video shortly for how to use this week's winning stocks if you haven't looked at that video already i would strongly suggest that you do that so that when you're using this week's winning stocks, you know how you can best take advantage of it and get grab some great opportunities and make some money on them. In any event, that's it for this week. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Have a great day.